Hello and welcome back to my workshop. In this video I'm going to be talking about this uh, SIP 6 inch heavy duty bench grinder. It's a half horsepower 375 watt I picked up for bugger all from a scrapyard. Uh, it is going to end up being later on modified reasonably so I can use it for um, grinding and honing carbon, uh, sorry, tungsten carbide, braised tungsten carbide bits. If this is your first time here, please hit the like and please share the video and hit the subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Right, so I brought this from a scrapyard in a not working condition. Let me show you what's wrong with it. If I switch that on, it just does that. Um, sits there and hums. The most likely explanation for that is a fault with the starter coil and the way to test that is just to try giving it a spin and see if you can get it to start. We didn't then. And off it goes. And I've already started it and it does work. Right, we should turn it off. The other thing it does is, is that when it's on, you can get a nice little tingle from that. So clearly we've got an electrical fault. This is an induction motor based device. Um, and that means it's got a starting capacitor, which is very likely in here. So what we're going to do is just whip open the bottom of this. Most bench grinders have a foot like this. And rather than having a big lumpy capacitor on the side of the motor, they tend to hide that kind of thing in the bottom in here. So let's have a quick look. See what we can find. There we go, there's the capacitor, there's the switch. So the odds are, is we just need a new one of those. Let me have a look at that. Pull that out and have a look. Right, well, it's a cheap Chinese one. Um, can't quite read that. 4.2 microfarad, and I think it's a... Oh, I see the problem. Just unplugged it, and that crimps just comes straight off. Right, that would be the problem. Dodgy connection. Right, so give me a sec. We have the technology. There might be nothing wrong with the capacitor at all. Have I got one that size? I have. Right, crimper. Where'd I put the crimper? Right, so, here we have the crimper, what I'm going to do is quickly hack off the end of that. Uh, it's made slightly awkward by the fact that there's only a limited length left. Trim a little bit off the cable. And 
need a little bit off. That will do. There we go. Right. That with a magic crimper. Let me see now. We want. I think that is going to be that one there. The middle one. I oh, know that's the wrong way round. That's why. Right. There we go, new one crimped on. These are non polarised for reasonably obvious reasons, but the fur one wants to be the red one because it's got the least on it. I put that back up there. Hold on. Still picking off a mild tingling off there, which is really weird, it's really mild. Anyway, that's that fixed. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. These uh, set of crimpers for doing this sort of thing, it's a really handy thing to have. Right. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. I'm just going to chuck this back together.